Hey guys and welcome to my very busy Saturday at uni. I had quite a bit of work to do. Well, I had planned to get a lot of stuff done today, so I did work quite intensely today, even though it was a Saturday and even though it's technically the weekend. But as I've told you guys before, I don't really have a weekend when I'm at university because every day is pretty much the same. I always have work to do. But anyway, this morning I had been up for a while and I was out of my room by 7.30. As you just saw, college was pretty quiet at that time in the morning. I went straight to the print room actually after I'd done my morning usuals, as you saw in my morning routine, which I put up on my channel very recently. But I decided to go and print out some lecture notes that I was going to be needing for today, as well as an essay which I had got back from my supervisor with some corrections on. I then headed to the library because I had to return a library book but I'm now just gonna let you laugh at me because I am very bad in libraries. I never normally use them and so I have no clue how to return books and stuff like that. So this is me staring at the screen because I have no clue what I'm doing. So I was supposed to be returning a book but I think I was doing the stuff that you you normally do when you take a book out. So I was scanning my card and it was just making all these really weird noises and it just kept buzzing at me and bleeping. I was very confused. I thought I was supposed to be returning it and I've checked it out. What the hell? So instead of returning the book, I'd checked it out again, which I didn't intend to do. So I realized that that was the wrong thing when returning a book and as you can see it says returns on that cupboard and it took me a while to work that out. Where do I return this book? Oh. Revelation. Oh I see. Okay. Maybe I'll just put it in there and hope that it gets returned properly. Hmm. That's how you return a library book. You don't need to scan it. I learned that today. Yep, so that is my college library and it just goes to show how many times I actually get library books out as a science student. And yes, I gave up trying to look all cool just as if a camera was magically filming me. I did have to go and put that down there, so let's be real guys. So I then came back to my room and I decided that I wanted to sort out my folders a bit, do some hole punching, staple some stuff together because I'd been given a few essays back and I feel that by organising my folders first thing in the morning it just sets the day off nicely and then as usual I did my to-do list I wrote down exactly what I wanted to get done today in a specific order so that included the work that I was going to do the lectures that I had to go to and the fact that I needed to go to Sainsbury's at some point so I wrote that down so that I had a very strict schedule for today and then I basically sat down and started off reading the lecture notes I just printed out so we we're starting a new lecture series today and as you shall see, we had a two hour lecture today, two hours straight because um, they've been rescheduled basically. They were quite a dense set of lecture notes so I decided to read about half of them and then I switched to doing something else for a bit. So I was reading through an essay and as you can see my mouth is moving like crazy because I'm reading it to myself. I had basically done the majority of this essay the day before and I just needed to finish it and read it and make sure that it was ready to be sent to my supervisor to mark it. So I was just adding some figures, some diagrams and then that was ready to be sent off. I then had my breakfast and stuff and as you guys know from my morning routine I always start my day off with hot lemon and as you will realise from the title of this video I study without any caffeine and what I mean by that is basically I don't drink tea or coffee. So what I'm showing you now are some of these Twinings and Puka and Asda um, infusions which are kind of a type of tea but they don't contain any caffeine. And the reason why I wanted to talk about this today was because I was very kindly sent some of these organic matcha teas um, from a company called The Matcha Reserve. So I didn't try those during the day, but I'm going to talk to you a bit about those later and I decided that I might try them in the evening. 
So I got back to work once I was eating my breakfast. I ticked off the fact that I'd gone to the print room and read through my essay and read through some of the lecture notes. I drank my hot lemon, which I honestly love. I then got back to reading through the second half of those lecture notes, which I started this morning. And I feel that by doing that, I feel a bit more prepared when I'm in the lecture because I can follow along a bit better but sometimes I don't always have time to do this. So change of scenery. We are now in our first lecture of the day. So this was for cell and developmental biology and the lecture notes I was just reading were for neuro. So I didn't read these lecture notes in advance because they're just purely diagrams. There are a few key points, but we are basically told to make our own notes, which is fine. I also tried to do this quiz that our lecturer had told us to do at the start, but the Wi-Fi was not loading, so I didn't get to do that. And by the time I had turned my mobile data on, the lecture basically started. So this lecture series is about development because the title of the module is called Cell and Developmental Biology. So there is quite a big section on development and we've done some of this in first year, but obviously it gets a bit more detailed and the concepts are a bit harder to understand. But I just made my own notes, drew my own little diagrams to try and follow along using the lecture slides and what the lecturer was saying. I then had an hour break between that lecture and the neuro lectures. So I always in this break go to the library, which is closest, and I will get on with a bit of work. So there weren't that many people there, but I was talking to Juliet just before she went to her psychology lecture. and. Surprise, surprise, Holly whips out her banana. And in line with the topic that I wanted to talk about today in this video, I don't rely on stimulants. So caffeine, which is in tea and coffee. I always feel totally energized from the foods that I'm eating. Just to tell you what I was doing in this hour break, I managed to read through the second of the essays that I'd written and I made some corrections changed a few bits here and there and basically got that done within an hour which I planned to do. I then set off at about 5 to as you can see there we go. I set off to my lecture and here is the library. This is how empty it is on the weekend because obviously most students don't have lectures on the weekends on a Saturday anyway. And then I went to the lecture theatre for the two hours of neuro lectures back to back. So here we go. As you can see, Izzy had her food at the ready and I got my water bottle out and basically spread my stuff across this whole desk, which was quite good. Although someone did actually come and sit next to me at one point, but then they left and I never saw them again. So I had the desk to myself. But going back to the topic of caffeine, I feel that as a student, it's again quite atypical. You guys know I don't drink alcohol as well and it's kind of for the same reason really. I don't really like the taste of tea or coffee so I don't drink it and also I don't really want to rely on a stimulant I mean people do get kind of addicted to it and feel that they need to drink tea and coffee continuously throughout the day so that they can get through work but I personally if you're drinking a lot of tea and a lot of coffee and you're really heavily reliant on it then I don't really think that's a good thing and likewise with alcohol I don't have a problem with those people who choose to drink it because they like it it's your personal choice but if you're totally reliant on it to get you through a day, then I think you should maybe question it. Hey. Yes. Hey. How are you in a two hour lecture? <laughs> Feeling good, eating. Hey, I'm eating an orange. Oh, right. I have no tissues though, so this is going to go. Do you want a tissue? Do you have a tissue? Yeah. Wow. Thank you. Look at this kid. <laughs> so the lecturer gave us about a 10 minute break and Sophie was very happy about that as you can clearly see. <laughs> so we basically had 10 minutes to like 
eat some stuff, even though I'd eaten my apple during the lecture, which the lecturer really doesn't mind about you doing. I had my orange as well, and Izzy came to the rescue with a tissue. And then we started again with the second hour. My hand at this point was starting to ache a bit, but we powered through and we got those two hours of lectures done and dusted. And it felt super, super good when you could walk out the lecture theater and breathe in some fresh air. I mean, that was the best feeling. I think we all were quite relieved after that. And then I decided that I was just gonna quickly head out to Sainsbury's and grab some food. Obviously bananas were on my shopping list and I just need to get some other stuff. And when I got back, I had my lunch. As you can see, if you guys would be interested in seeing a what I eat in a day video and especially what I eat during days like this when I'm studying quite intensely then please give this video a thumbs up if you'd be interested in that because I would definitely be up for doing that. I have been staring at this washing for about a good few days now and it's just been staring back at me and I'm just hoping that by staring at this washing it will magically put itself away and get into my wardrobe and my cupboards but clearly that is not the case because it is still standing there five days later. So what I'm gonna do, I've just been reading that essay and I've read over it once and it's still way too long so I'm gonna have to read through it again and cut it down but I thought that it would be good to take a quick five minute breather and just put this washing away because yeah it's not gonna put itself away unfortunately stand up and stretch the legs a bit give the brain a bit of a rest because that essay is intense man oh, literally the hardest essay i've ever written so obviously uni life doesn't really just involve work you've got to do your shopping do your washing and everything like that so we've got to be real about these things guys it's emla hello Oh yeah, you're at the shops now, oh, yeah, for Mother's Day. I've um, been reading through an essay and not really thinking about that, but I can try and think now. I'm gonna say Happy Mother's Day because it is Mother's Day on the day that I'm not uploading this video. TK Maxx, yeah, have you been in TK Maxx? Mum loves TK Maxx, you always find something in TK Maxx. As you can see, my sister and I were having some last minute planning to do. Oh, well, look for Mum in there as well, yeah, not just for yourself. Luckily, Emily was at home and could sort that out a bit. Obviously, I was not gonna be able to see mum today because it's Mother's Day in the UK and I'm quite far away in Cambridge. Hello. We're just gonna be ruthless here with an essay that is way too long. I just need to press delete and I really don't like doing that. Being derived from the lineage as illustrated in figure three. Where's figure three, Holly? We need to get figure three. Uh, here we go again. Bye bye. Oh. So I've just finalised and rounded off, tied some loose ends with three essays that I've written over the past few days. Where's my pen? So I can cross these off my to do list. I wasn't completely happy with the last one that I'd written um, because it was just so hard and I was just could I got to the point when I couldn't change anymore um, but I feel I said that in the email and that's perfectly okay to do that and say to your supervisor or the person who's working with you that you found it quite hard to write and you think that their feedback and going through it will help you so it's perfectly okay to hand in things that are not perfect you've got to accept that and it's hard but I just just got to do it okay what's next on the agenda so that was the third essay of the day that i had just finished and finalized and sent across to my supervisor and then i moved on to making some notes from this textbook that i'd got out from the library so it seems that i use the library quite a lot in this video but it's just coincidence that the other day i went and got a few books out because i felt that it would help me understand what was going in the lectures a bit more so i got this book out for the development lectures because I felt that I needed a bit more explanation than what was given in the lecture. As you saw, the notes were just diagrams and I felt that it would just consolidate my understanding and help me actually clear up a few things that I wasn't quite sure about if I could go through the textbook and then just make some notes alongside. I sent one of my essays to one of my supervisors. So I sent them about maybe like an hour and a half ago and I've had one back already. 
this is how on it some supervisors are like that's crazy i don't think i've ever had an essay back that quickly here is the textbook that i was using it's called developmental biology i mean who would have guessed it's about development and it's biology very crazy title there but then after i'd made some notes i then decided to move on again to something else this time i was planning an essay that i wanted to write about parasites so this was linked to my pathology module and the book that i'd returned to the library in the morning was one that i was using to write this other essay about atherosclerosis I think just to let you know if you were interested there we've now jumped ahead a bit because I've got a big bowl of food in front of me and I'm eating my dinner basically I had made my dinner I'd taken a break before I did this so I went and did some stuff in the gym so I hadn't just worked continuously even though it seems like I did in this video I just forgot to film anything when I was in the gym and when I was making my food but I spoke to my family at home and then I was just eating my dinner and getting on with that essay plan. I could then basically cross off everything on my list today because I got basically everything done. I mean I hadn't finished the essay plan, I hadn't finished making notes but I'd done quite a lot of it. So as I said at the start of this video I have been sent these organic ceremonial matcha teas. So one of them is the original one and this one is the mango matcha. So I decided I was going to try them just before I went to bed and I don't know whether you should drink tea and coffee and stuff before you go to bed and because I've never tried it then maybe this was the wrong idea and it might not have helped me sleep but oh well I really wanted to try them and I'll know for next time. So I basically had watched this YouTube video about how you do this because the company have made a video. So you basically add half a teaspoon to one teaspoon, I think, of the matcha, depending on how strong you want it, into a bowl or a mug. I was using this bowl because I didn't have a mug that was wide enough to fit the whisk thing in. You then add some boiling water and you like whisk it around in a W shape I think so I was paying close attention to this video and I wanted to do it right I obviously didn't add very much water as you can tell it looks like literally nothing but I added some more water and whisked it around a bit and then I basically tried it as I said I've never tried matcha before in my life I've never really had tea so I mean here goes now this could go awfully wrong oh that was alright, pretty smooth. I haven't made very much because I don't know if I'm gonna like it. This is the first time I've ever had matcha and the first time I've had like caffeine really. Like I've tried tea and coffee but I've never actually had a whole mug of it or anything. I mean this is not a whole mug. I only made a little bit but... Hmm, it's a very subtle taste. I think it's like a tea, a green tea taste, I assume. At least it smells like green tea. Hmm. Not bad. So I just drank my matcha tea and I read some more of the textbook that I was reading before, but I just wasn't making any notes before I went to bed. I will also share with you guys when I try the mango one because you guys know I love mangoes. And there you have it, guys. That is my study with me at university today for this week which was pretty intense and as you saw i did not rely on numerous cups of tea or coffee to get me through the day i feel totally energized just from the foods that i'm eating and i would just like to say thank you to the matcha reserve again for sending me out your ceremonial teas to try because that was the first time i've ever had matcha thanks for watching guys and i'll speak to you soon